the cheapest coins on the web, go and check out igsky.com. Their link will be down in the description and use code CAPGUN for a discount at checkout. You're right guys, it's Capgun Tom here and welcome to episode number 76 of Building Buyer. Now we're going to kick this one off by going into our trade part. As you can see we have sold everything from the last episode including the Inform Miranda, Inform Welbeck and the big trade of the day. Informed Burnout that we sold for 234k, making about 100,000 coins on him alone. Absolutely monstrous trading session, and it means that we are now on 788,000 coins. It won't be long before we hit the cool milli, my friends. It won't be long. Now, if you guys want another episode of Building by and tomorrow, smash the like button now. Get this video to 2,000 likes, and I will upload another episode of Building by and for your viewing pleasure. Now, as you can see, we are not doing so hot in Division 2 this season. We've only got five points from five games. We need seven from our five remaining games or otherwise we are getting relegated, which of course is not ideal. Now our first opponent of the day has dangerous looking 41212 BPL sides, Aguero, Di Maria, David Silver in form, Hazard, a whole host of very, 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 very quick players to come up against. And I was like, this is going to be difficult. And look at this. How does my day start like this? Hazard. With a looping finesse shot from miles out, scores. I was like, oh, that's disgraceful. We managed to level it up in the fifth minute, though, with an absolutely blistering free kicks from Schweinsteiger. I think this might be my best free kick ever. Look at it curling into the top left-hand corner. Fantastic stuff. Now, this game actually disconnected halfway through. We didn't actually get to finish it. It wasn't either of this that disconnected either because uh, we end the game and neither of get any points for it. So, um, something was up with the servers. I don't know what it was. They just weren't working all that well. So, I decided, you know what, I'm going to go into the Gold Cup um, because that way, if I lose, it's not so devastating because if we drop any points at this point of the season with only five games left, we could end up getting relegated. So I thought, better play it safe than play it sorry. And you can see here that our first opponent in the Gold Cup is a dangerous one again. And uh, he has like Griezmann in there, Cherchi in a full nine formation. It wasn't long before Griezmann just went through and scored. I was just not having the day of dreams. This was an absolutely hideous day, in fact. It was probably the worst day of FIFA that I've ever played by quite a long margin. Just nothing went right for me. Literally nothing. I, could, I couldn't do anything. <laughs> I tried my hardest to get back into games, but nothing worked. And uh, yeah, you can see that everything was just falling his way, going into his path, and he was scoring it all. So there you go. It was just a really, really difficult day to play in. And you can see there, a deflected shot goes in top right. I mean, when you're dealing with that, what chance have you got? I did score one goal in the final minute of the game, just to show that I was there. But, um, yeah, it was too little too late. I put some contracts on the boys. We're going back into the Gold Cup to give her another try. See if we can get a result. You know, get our first result of the day. And uh, we come up against this team. I know this guy is actually a subscriber because he messaged me after the game. So, uh, we'll see what happens. And as you can see, he's using an interesting 3-4-3 three, three, uh, formation team. Bundesliga. He has Ramos up front, which fills me with dread because that guy's a nightmare to play against. And uh, here we go. Let's go and see how the game starts off. Not very well for me, as he managed to get through, pass it into Pogba, and Pogba slots it in. He actually brought Pogba on as a sub, and he really did make a very big difference to his team. Now, he managed to equalise through this lovely shot from Goetze from the edge of the area, and uh, we make it 1-1, which is great. And then we actually managed to make it 2-1, so we are in the lead, finally. Yes, we are in the lead, and uh, it was Muller's left foot that actually put us into the lead. But in the final minute... Roy scores an absolutely wonderful goal, or should I say, annoying goal, and then in extra time he manages to score a header, and I lose again. So uh, not brilliant, but at least now we can forget about, um, or at least we can forget about playing some games and go and do some trading. And as you can see, I've picked up a whole trade pile's worth of stuff. I've got 8k left. The first thing that you've seen that's already sold is a Lustig. It was I was trading around the new team of the week when that had just come out and Lustig was only just out in packs. I picked him up for 10k, sold him on immediately for 11.25. Didn't want to hold on to him because I knew that his price would drop. Um, anyway, loads and loads of stuff in this trade pile. I mean, we've got a Chimiti here that we picked up for 9.6, listing for 14,000 coins. Baston for 9.9k, going to be listing up for 12.250. Kona K, listing for 3k after buying for 2.5k we got a ward prowls here that we picked up for 6.6 .6, listing for 7.8 delas quev going to be listing him for 19k you know there's so much profit going on here and uh, you can see the market was absolutely crazy because um zuma although i put him up like two or three before the lowest buy it now um he actually got bought pretty much instantly which is just mental uh, we've got mandanda there that we're listing for about 15 and a half uh, after we bought for 14 i believe it was uh, two big players here guerrero that we picked up 85 listing for 104 for like 15k 
profit after tax. Um, also a Pedro that we picked up for, I think, I was, think it was 113 listing up for 130. Also Aurier, again, making some good profit there. Wanyama, 37K listing up for 40,500. We've also got Ziegler, or Ziegler, sorry, that we picked up for about 35, listing up for 39. Luis Adriano has been moved to centre mid. We're listing up for 36K after we bought him for about 29. You know, that's really, really good profit. We're talking like 5K on him. And for the amount I'm investing, that is awesome. Now, if you guys want to learn how to trade like me um, and see how I pick up all these bargains, go check out the link to the Pulse Trading Method down in the description. I'm sure lots of you have seen it already. It basically tells you how to use this method, um, how to use Pulse, how to make make coins, what to look out for, what not to look out for, so that you don't get, you know, buy price fix cards or whatever, and you make sure that you only uh, pick up cards you can make money on. So feel free to go check that out. The link's down in the description. Now we're going back into divisions, finally. And I was trusting enough of the servers that it wouldn't bug out. And we go into our first game against a dangerous-looking hybrid with Robin. Um, Lewandowski and Ibrahimovic in it. Now he actually brought Ribery on later on in the game and this was just another game that I could not do anything in. It started all right. You can see that I managed to make it one all. He makes it 2-1 after a bit of aids. You know, ball coming back out off the keeper. Ibrahimovic heading it in. We equalise it up straight away and uh, make it 2-2 before half time. But when we came out after half time, it was a completely different ball game. I was just absolutely smashed by this guy. Look, I just don't know what to do. Do I come? Do I stay back? What am I supposed to do? I'm even doing stuff like passing the ball to the man you don't want to pass to in the box. Ibrahimovic Lam, why did you do that, my friend? You didn't need to. Anyway, you can see here, he finished me off with an absolutely fantastic back heel. All I can say is that is absolutely amazing. And Ribery finesses that one home to make it 5-2. A dis well, a disgusting result. And just, I got obliterated. What can I say? Now we've only got four games to get those seven points. It's going to be tight. It's going to be very tight. Now, I came up against this team. I was like, you know what? This is my best chance of getting a result. Although all the players are pretty uh, decent. He has Lovren playing at left back. I was like, less chemistry. Um, we can get a result. Let's do this. Let's do this, troops. And, uh, yeah, finally things sort of worked out for me. And I get a result in this episode. Uh, you can see there that um, Muller goes through and slides that one in to make it 1-0. And then just after half time, he passes out with his goalkeeper. And I intercept, and I score, and I win! I win! I won a game! Can you believe it? Yes! We did it. Hopefully, we can come back in the next episode stronger and make sure we get the four points we need from the three games that we have left. Hopefully, it can happen. Hopefully, we won't get relegated. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. As I said, 2,000 likes. I will upload another episode of Building Bayern tomorrow for you. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. But other than that, I'm going to have to leave it there. And I will see you all next time.